we're off to get Ellie Mae. She's been in the shop for a month. So we're off to get her. Wife is ready for me to go back to work. And I need to. We went over budget. I'll, I'll cover that in the rest of this video. But we ended up at 33000 and some change. So we had some. It wasn't all motor stuff. I had some spring pin bushings done and some other things. So we'll cover that. Part of being an owner operator. Can you take a money? Can you take a month off and write checks for 30 grand? All that big money you think you're making, you better set some aside. That's a pretty purple beer, Bill. Man, that was nice. All right. I'll try to remember to film it when I open the hood for the first time so you guys could be with me when I first see it. It's supposed to be painted up pretty. All right, see you, bye. All right, guys, you can kind of see it back there. We'll go over it and uh, I'll spin this around and show you. I didn't get to do it in the parking lot. It's just way too windy, still windy. Plus I forgot till the last second and then I realized it's too windy. Uh, so kind of lost my train of thought up there going over the bill and emptying out my bank account. I gotta get back to work, but we're gonna be all right. So uh, we'll flip this around and uh, I'll kind of show you, try to remember everything they did, go over the whole rebuild. I'm gonna miss some stuff, but um, maybe I'll do a little segment where I go over the bill and show you the total amount. So you know what to look for. Uh, mine, was, it's pretty high. It's, uh, well, shoot, I don't even have it here. I don't want to quote it. 33 or 35, somewhere in there. 33, I think. Something like that. But I, I told them not to cut any corners. So everything that even looked questionable, we replaced it. Because I'm just not that guy that's going to try to save a few hundred bucks here and there. Because that always comes back to bite me. And usually alongside the road. So... Uh, let's flip this around and we'll just take a look at it. All right, before we do that, I'll show you. Told him to save me a liner and a piston. That's what a liner and a piston in a ISX-15 looks like. I don't know if it'll show up. Yeah, you can kind of see some of the spots that are real mirrored, like right there. I don't know, right there. It's polished out. That's where it was burning oil. These marks are from the liner puller. And you can see uh, you can see some real shiny spots. So she was time. That's a million mile sleeve there. And then the piston and rings. Nothing to really look out there. I got a little box of goodies I told him to save me. The new they put new belts on. I keep the old ones. Radiator boots. A buddy of mine spent like 10 hours. Uh, trying to get this fixed at a thousand bucks between getting the part and the road call. It was terrible for him. So, if he'd have had that, he could have done it himself and just Ubered up to the parts store and got some coolant. So, all this stuff will get put in the truck somewhere. I carry a lot of junk with me. So, all right. Now there she is. The paint job's pretty good. I have high level OCD. I probably would have taped a few more things off and done it better, but hey, it's good. It's good. I'm gonna hose the truck off here. I gotta put my caps and spiky covers back on, but I'm actually gonna paint the frame. I needed to do that. I'm gonna paint the back frame. I'll show you all that when we're done, so. Uh, complete kit, man. I mean, all new rods, main bearings, liners, pistons. A brand new head, well, remanufactured head, you don't really get a new one. Um, I had to replace some rocker arms, the cam was good. A new fuel pump, that's 3,500 bucks. Brand new radiator, all new boots, radiator boots. A new uh, bottle, uh, water pump, oil pump. And I can't, uh, just everything, we did everything, man. No shortcuts here. Painted it up. I'm trying to think of what else we did. Uh, of course, new belts, new overflow bottle, new hoses, all new hoses everywhere. Um, I had them put a pyrometer in it. Oh. 
yeah, good to go. Uh, while it was in there, we uh, we greased the truck, checked it all over. New spring pin bushings. Well, they did two the last time. This time we did the other two. So we did the front spring pin bushings. These are only about a month old. I'm gonna clean all this off and repaint all this. It ain't bad, but every year I clean it off and paint it. We need some new drive tires. These have these have held up well though, man. About 300,000 on them. I lost one. One of these went out around and I bought this cheap tire just to get me by. So new spring pin bushings up here, this side too. All right, had to put my APU cover back on. I got it off over there, sanded it all down and painted it while I was off. I'm also gonna sand that thing down a little bit and paint the rusty spots, make it look nice. And that's about it. That's all I could think of. Of course, all new filters, of course. So we're ready to go. Smells like paint in here. That's for dadgum, sure. All right, I'm sure I missed something, but Ellie Mae is ready to go. It is Thursday. I told Taylor to find me something for Monday. I guess I could go Sunday, but Monday would be better. I'm ready to go, but I'm not ready to go, if that makes any sense. Why is this thing? Oh, there we go. All right, I'm going to get to work, and uh, maybe I'll sit down and go over the bill uh, and everything and what this kind of costs an owner-operator. So, all right, we'll see you. Bye. Spray cans gone wild. Painting away. Got it all masked off. The hardest thing was that up there, taping that all off. And then I had to let it dry so I could pull all the tape so I don't have to get back up there on the catwalk after I paint it. It's all painted. Let it dry. And I gotta get that paint off the cab there with some brake cleaner. A little bit over there. That looks better. Almost done. Same thing over here. All right, we'll show it to you when it's all done and put back together. All right, before we go out and look at it with all the masking tape off and everything back together, do the money part. It's four pages long, so I'm not going to read every item on this bill, but I'll just give you an idea. Now, this was a major overhaul with some extras, and I cut no corners. Certainly, you could probably get it done cheaper than this, but um, that's just not how I roll. So that always comes back to bite me. So the total bill, where are we at here? That, that's not right. Is that right? I've got differences here. Oh, I know what that is. Okay. Oh, we forgot to add something. We'll use this bill here, except this one I have stuff highlighted. So the total bill out the door, $33,718. Now, of course, I took a month off, so I lost quite a bit of income. So it took a month to get this done, almost a month. Um, yeah, I think today's a month. Anyway, so we're going back to work tomorrow. We're leaving on Sunday, going up to Indiana. Then we're getting a load of shingles back into St. Louis, so... I'll just go over the bill. Um, I mean, you got $300 in oil. They saved my antifreeze. It was good. There's just all kinds of miscellaneous connectors and stuff they need when they get in there. I had new belts put on. Um, those are $100 each, actually. Yeah, 98 and 128. Uh, new radiator hose ends. Didn't use the old ones. I showed you that. Um rockers uh needed intake rockers uh they're roller rockers and uh, they were kind of loose and not looking so good he said that's pretty typical uh the exhaust ones are usually not bad so it's six intake rockers and those are let me see here where i got it highlighted all right here 
461 and the other ones should be about the same. 445. They're a little bit different. So we got 900 and something dollars in rockers. Um, I had to get a new block heater. Mine was messed up. In fact, it was it shorted out and it kind of stuck itself in there. They had to pull the oil cooler off to get it out and put the new one in. A little more labor to do that. Block heater was a hundred bucks. Um, then well, let's see. The overhaul kit was seventeen one eighty one. Plus, we did new uh, head bolts because uh, he doesn't like to reuse the old head bolts. And those were six hundred dollars for new head bolts. There's twenty two of them. Uh, yeah, just normal stuff, man. I'm just trying to go over the extras here. Uh, labor was $6,600, actually about 7000 There was some other labor in for radiator replacement, stuff like that, block heater, things like that. Um, they also had to cut the block. Uh, that added to the bill, 1320 bucks to cut the block. That's a long process. They cut it down 20 thousandths, but it's two thousandths at a time. So about 12 hours she charged to cut that block. I don't know if it took him that long, but that's probably book time. Plus, we had shims in there somewhere. I don't know where they are. I'd have to find them. Those shims are 70 or 80 bucks a piece, the shims that go under the liners. I should be able to, oh, three and no, no, no. It would be six. Nope. Seeing if I could find it real quick for you. Let me put it back here. Now, this is all labor. Uh, I don't know. I can't find it right off the bat. I should pause this and tell you, but. I was just looking for a number six over here. Oh, there we go. Shims. They are $60.45 a piece. The 20,000th shims. Uh, it's another connector of some kind. Uh, what else? Um, I also had them grease the truck. Put those spring pin bushings in. Go over the truck. Yeah, the, the spring pins. Yeah, that's it. The rest was just labor, so. Uh, there you go. Total out the door. Whatever I said was. 33718 bucks. But old Ellie, man, she should be pretty good. Other than that, she's a pretty solid truck. Transmission's only two years old. I mean, you never know, hey. It's a mechanical beast. It's not going to be free of needing repair and maintenance. But uh, the big ticket item is over with. And that 33000 or whatever I just said is better than 60, 70, 80, or 100 grand for a, a, a newer used truck. So, and you never know what you're getting on that deal. At least now I know what I got. Kind of the devil I know. All right, y'all. We'll go out and check it out. And uh, then I got to hook up the trailer. And I think I'm going to paint the trailer wheels too. Uh, get the fridge going, start the APU, make everything, make sure everything's top notch because we roll out in the morning. All right, see you, bye. All right, I'll spin it around and give you the final rock walk around on the money part. And I think I mentioned it probably in one of these clips. It'll be here anyways, but I also put a new radiator in. That was about a thousand bucks. <clears throat> also had to put new crossover tubes for the fuel injectors. That was Six of them at a hundred and something dollars a piece. So uh, we replaced a lot of little things that add up while we were in there. So I told him, don't take no shortcuts. If it looks questionable, just replace it. You know, all that stuff had a million miles on it. It's, it's at the end of its service life anyways. Let's just move forward. All right, let me flip this around and we'll take a walk around. All right, here we go. She's all painted up. If you've seen that, I sanded and taped and painted the frame in here. The little princess is riding around her rollerblades. This is her rollerblade ring. Painted this side too, frame's all clean. There's my new block heater cord. And it doesn't have long enough cord to go over there to plug in under the door. That's okay, I only use it a couple times a year. You're already seeing the new radiator and bottle. She looks good. The old girl looks good. 
Painted the fenders again, all the frame. Lots of wire wheeling and sanding. Painted that up there, it was looking pretty rough. Kind of freshened her up. All right. Just repainted the APU. Ready to go riding and guiding. All right, guys, we'll see you out there. God bless you. Bye now. Yep, she's ready to go tomorrow. Had to get it out of the shop, hook the trailer up, pull it out of the shop. It had all kinds of overspray under there from painting the frame, so. Had to get the pressure washer out and wash the whole shop. Then I got to looking at it. I touch these wheels up once a year anyways, when I couldn't roll out of here with these wheels with chips on them, so I pulled all the caps off, the spiky lug nut caps taped off the hubs and painted these wheels back up again. So now we're ready. I'm ready to go back to work, man. I've been off a month. It's a long time. Everybody thinks they want to be off. I don't know if I'll ever be able to retire. I'm bored. I literally ran out of projects to do. I mean, I could always go fishing and stuff, but I'll probably, maybe I'll try one of them 40 hour a week part-time jobs when I retire or something. All right, y'all. God bless you. We'll see you for the money and news next week. I haven't had one of those in a month. No working, no money, no news. All right, see you. Bye.